Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Amy again with Bargain Mama. And oh my gosh, get a drink, get something. Oh man, I left my drink in the car. And as soon as I said it, I was like, wait a minute, where's my drink? I have another one down here. Don't you worry, I always have spares. But let me just get started with saying, I, I don't know what keeps happening. I was like at 980, now I'm back to like 974, and then I think 977. It's not a big deal for me because I know that you have to reach your watch time hours, and I'm like halfway there, I'm only at 2,000, but also it's not a big deal to me because I want real viewers, and I feel like now that I'm kind of growing my channel more, like doing more things, that I'm going to get like more substantial viewers, I hope. I don't know, that's my plan, that's what I tell myself, but so today, let me tell you what you're gonna see. So today you're going to see a couple of the crafts that I have finished up that I showed you the other day I was thinking of making. And then I, so I have been saving you guys. I have been buying Christmas for over a month, but I was not about to be getting yelled at. I get yelled at all the time on YouTube for every little thing. My marriage gets scrutinized. My parenting gets scrutinized. Every little thing gets scrutinized, no, no. And so I was not about to give everyone another reason. So I've not hauled anything. I have a huge five pound bin full of Christmas stuff. So if you are not interested in Christmas stuff, this is not the video for you. And I'm sure there's about 50 people that just clicked off. But before you do, let me show you the couple of things that I have finished. So first, let me say, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, I don't know when this is gonna come up. This will probably come up on Saturday, maybe? I don't know, but I am so far behind in hauls because I've been trying to save my Christmas and then I've been trying, yeah. So, and you all know that I have, where did my boxes go? I have decided that I am going to do, so I did a craft fair like two years ago and I really didn't know what I was doing and I really just didn't have like the greatest stuff, but I think I've got the market cornered. No, I don't. But I think I've done a lot of research to kind of figure out what people are wanting. So this will technically be kind of like my first craft fair, like for reals. So it is October 30th. Like I've already signed up. Like I have no choice. So I started making things. I was really sad. I had gotten these boxes from the Dollar Tree a long time ago and they were only 50 cents because they were messed up. I can't find them again. But let me show you. So you guys, please tell me if you think so. I like if they're packaged. Okay. So I put three of these little ornaments in there. Oh, I was supposed to look for the light bulbs today and I forgot. Anyways, these are the little like night light, light bulbs from the Dollar Tree. Just so you know, you get three of these for a dollar. When I went to Walmart yesterday, I was going to pick some up. It's like four for five dollars. I was like, no thanks, I'll wait. So anyways, I packaged them like this. I thought they would be cute. My hand is shaky all the time. I don't know why I say it anymore. So I got those and I figured like I would just kind of display them like this. I'll fix them up a little. And then when they buy them, I'll just put the lid on them. Anyways, so then the next ones I packaged are this way and they are just red and green with the twine around them. It's just glitter and Mod Podge. And then I just sealed the up. Don't do that. Thank goodness it land. Thank goodness I have a lot of crap and it didn't land straight on concrete. But so I just sealed the outside. So my hands are increasingly shaky today. So that little bad boy just slipped right out. Like if you've seen Pretty Woman, she's like slippery little sucker. That's how I feel. And then this is the last one that I have finished. And these are the light bulbs again with just some lace kind of stuff, whatever, at the top with this pink. It's the, I don't even know. I can't think of it right now. But anyways, it's, I was going to say riffraff, but that's not, raffia at the top to hold them. So I put those together. So let me know what you think about like them kind of, you know, how they're packaged or whatever. I will take criticism. Just be nice, please. And then I did finish this little guy last night. Oh, dang it. His head is crooked and he's already glued on. But anyways, I finished this little scarecrow last night. So this is from Walmart. It is not from the Dollar Tree. This is the grass, the hula skirts from my luau party that I cut up and put here at the scarecrow. And then this is those cheap Dollar Tree scarecrows that come on the, the pick that I had made a shelf sitter into. I just cut one of their faces off and Mod Podged it onto here. And then let me put him down for a minute because my hands are shaky and I do not. And then, so then I did just put 
the raffia under here and then I felt like I needed something to finish it because I didn't just want like a bunch of raffia glued under there so I just put a piece of foam glued in there and then the top so then I painted this yellow and then the top is just one of this little scarecrow looking guy and he is one of the ones that comes in three for the fairy gardens for fall from Dollar Tree with just some fall leaves so that one is one that I finished last night I'm so afraid to pick it up because my hands are so shaky but anyways, so here is that little guy I'm very proud of, except for the fact that I just noticed his head is crooked. Great. Anyways, so those are the ones that I have finished, which I'm very excited about. And so, okay, guys, we are five minutes into it, so I have to hurry. Some of this stuff I'm just going to fly through. So this is the pom-pom 60 pieces, and I did, this is in the Christmas thing because I plan on using it for my Christmas decor for my little gnomey people. Sometimes I'm going to want the green, sometimes I'm going to want the red. So I got those. Then I did pick up this also. Oh, you guys know how many is in there. 60. So this is the super soft micro cloth, 16 inches by 24 inches. I did just get it not to use for gnome beards because it's not going to be good enough, but you can cut it and use it for like trim on their hat and stuff, which is really cute. And now that I know how to like dye the fabric, I can dye this and use it any color I want. So I just picked that up. Okay. Whew, it's hot. So let's see. So I did pick this up, the Crafter Square DIY LED ornament. This one is the little car or truck, whatever. So cute. So cute. So I probably... I don't know if I'm, I'm probably gonna use markers if I do do that myself or I'll use it for my patients, but I got that one and it has the little twine to hang from. A lot of these I'm sure you guys have seen, but like I said, I just could not bring myself to do it before Halloween, I mean, before October. So here's another one of the little LEDs. And this one I am going to use for my gingerbread house theme. So I'm going to paint like a bright pink here. And then I am going to probably use um, what am I thinking? Pipe cleaners for these, try not to drop anything, so that they stand out. And then I'm going to use some sort of caulking or something for up here so that it has a 3D dimension so that it just looks like very whimsical with some glitter so that it goes with my Candyland thing because that is what my kitchen is every year. All right, guys. So then I did pick up two of these, I believe. And this is just the flat sled with nothing that I think is going to be really cute. Hold on a second, because then, oh, of course they're stuck together. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay, it almost fell. And then I picked up one of these. So how, no, two, two of each. And they are, like I said, from the Crafter Square. They're pretty big. And they each have the ornament things on them, but I feel like they're big for an ornament. Like, let me see, I have a little ruler. I'm trying to go fast now so that, you know. So this one is eight inches from here to here. This one's going to be bigger. I know it. So I guess it's only an inch bigger. So this one is nine inches from here to here. So I don't really think that these are for that, but how cute would this be to put some of like the little trees on? Okay. When your hands are shaky, you should not be doing that. Anyways, to put some little trees on, to put some of the little like fairy garden figurines on, to put an elf on, to put the little gnomes on. How cute would this be to put the little gnomes on? So anyways, I got them. And then let's see, that's just those ones again. Is this the same one? Gosh, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have done this. My hands are so shaky. So I did pick up this up. And so I think it's gorgeous. It is just a tea light candle holder, which yes, you could make guys, but you'd have to buy the jar for a dollar because jars are a dollar there. Then you would have to probably have this laying around. Then you would have to do that. Then you would have to like glue this to the top. Why not just get it for a dollar? And it has the tea light holder right there on the top. So I'm just gonna probably put some ribbon around here or something like that. But like I said, for a dollar, I thought this was so cute, but be careful because so many that I saw, that's just like a piece of fishing wire and they had fallen down. So just be careful with those. So this bag just has the extra so I'm gonna put that to the side so let me just show you guys okay so I did pick up the little red truck that is the oh man it is the like the fern holder what is it a planter for succulents but let me just show you real quick so what my plan is if you watched my video I don't know I think it came up on 
Wednesday. So if you watched my video on Wednesday, I showed you the little cars that I plan on doing this with. But how cute would this also be? So you could put like one or even two back here. You could like, I mean, how flipping cute is that? So you could put this back there with like some little fake snowballs or you could put like the some fake snow. Like I said, I like to use the spider webbing from Halloween because it just goes so much more. You could put that back there. You could put one of the little fairy garden figurines, whatever you wanted back there. So how cute is that? That's what I got that for. And I'm just going to put it around there with twine and it's going to be so cute. So there's that. And then I did pick up the little blue one, which I plan on doing the same thing with. It is, like I said, the blue truck for succulents, but I'm going to be honest. I can't keep a plant alive to save my life. I think the white one would look better here. I don't know. Anyways, so how cute. And like I said, I think it's cute like this and you just put it on top and then like you just tie it with some twine. And this one is a little plain for me. So I feel like I would probably put like farm truck fresh or whatever. Anyways, on there, I think that would be really cute. And they do have these little things in the back. So you could, and yeah, they attach the campers, but I didn't get the campers because I don't plan on using them like that. But you could put like one of these little sleds behind it, which the sled is bigger than the truck. So that might not be a good idea. But you could put any, you could make a little sled out of popsicle sticks and put it back here with some of the little fairy garden figurines or any little figurines on it. It looks like the truck is pulling the sled, anything like that. So there's that one. And then I picked up the camper and yes, you guessed it for the same reason so that I can put my little trucks on them. So this one though, how cute would it be to like, you know, if you've ever gone to like Christmas, what are they like parades? Santa's at the end, like sitting out the back of something. How cute would Santa be like sitting here? But anyways, like if you didn't have Santa, you could have an elf, you could have anything, a gnome. And then you just put that there. Again, there's too much white on this, so I would definitely do something else. But just the idea and that the back is open, you can put absolutely anything in there. This would actually be really cute with some snowballs in it, like actual little cute snowballs. I think that would be cute because this has a bigger opening than the other ones. So I think I might actually put like paint this a different color and then put some snowballs in there because that's going to be cute. And I'll either use cotton balls or I'll use the little foam balls that I had gotten before. So let's keep going. This is odd. It's in my Christmas because I want to get my cocoa bar going. So this is the Intamin's Hot Chocolate Original. There is three of them and they are BPA free, 0.35 ounces made with real cocoa. Anyways, I just got that one. We do still have a lot left from before because I'm always seem to be on a diet around the Halloween time or the holiday time. And so I'm trying, I'm always trying to like not eat or drink anything sugar, but I give up this year. Okay. So actually I'm looking for something. Okay. It doesn't even matter right now. It does So Okay. This video is going to be long enough without trying to hunt this down. So let's see what we got here. I did pick up the eight of the snowman and I have seen them a million times. And actually I just picked them up the other day because I decided that I'm just going, cause I was like, I'm not gonna paint these, but I decided I'm going to decoupage fabric on them. And so I think that would be really cute. So there's eight of the snowman and eight of the Christmas trees. And again, I am just going to put some fabric on there because you don't wanna see me paint. You see my hands right now, it is not working out. So I did pick up, I think like two of these and there was only one of the white ones, but that's fine. So these are just the little vine balls for counts, but I'm going to make them into ornaments. So four for a dollar is so cute. So these ones I am going to probably paint and glitter or something like that. And then I'm just going to hang a piece of twine or something through one of those little holes. And then this one, I'm thinking since it's already white, I'm just going to put like some really pretty glitter or something and then hang through twine or ribbon or something and just make them into little ornaments. So that is my plan with those. And these are not from the Christmas section. I just, they're from the floral garden, but I just put them in my Christmas section because I plan on using them for Christmas. I did pick up this and it's just the Christmas house. The M, 
Is that broken? That end looks crooked. It is. Uh, and I couldn't find it anymore. I'll fix it. Anyways, just for my husband and I. And then I was like, Amy, you could have made that. It's an M. But I just got it. Anyways, it has the little rings in it. It's pretty big. So I did pick up this. I had picked up one of these a while ago. The festival at Sugar Ridge. But I'm sure you're tired of hearing me say it. These are for my kitchen. So that I can fussy cut some of these. Put them either on like... If I fussy cut them and put them on some like foam board or something, I can, and put like a Jenga block on the back, I can use them on my three tiered trays. I can make some of them into little ornaments, two sided since I have two books now, and put them on my little trees, just do whatever. So that's why I got this, is for my Candyland theme in my kitchen. Hmm. And I think this is a Greenbrier one. Yes, so I know, baby, hold on. Sorry, the dogs are like, mom, we need out. So I did pick up two of these for the same reason. These are the sticker puffy 16 count. Again, I picked up two because I plan on putting these back to back and putting like a piece of fishing wire in between the middle and hanging them on a little, my little white Christmas tree in my kitchen for my Candyland theme, yes. So like I said, I'll just glue them together with a little thin wire a fishing wire guys and that is it these are going to make amazing ornaments like yeah that's it easy easy squeezy lemon peasy something i don't know anyways oh i think i forgot the other one anyways i got two of these i'm in love with elf the movie love it love it love it so i always have like an elf Maybe not a whole room because I don't have enough elf stuff, but I always have an elf area. So I got this one and one other one, which seems to be gone right now, which is fine. I'll find it. If you saw the mess under here, you'd be surprised I'm finding what I'm finding. But anyways, this is one of the little elf legs. Again, I found another one. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. I just needed them. I saw them in my life and needed them. I did pick up two of these because they're the cutest ever. So these are obviously little snowman, two pack on the picks. I plan on taking them off of the picks and I'm not sure after that. Like I may actually just make them into little ornaments because I love snowmen. And so I might just like put some fishing twine through here or some red ribbon, something and turn them into little ornaments. So, and then like, Take this off, make it into a little ornament, put it around a wine bottle or put it around anyone's Christmas present. And then guys, yeah, then they'll have an ornament to put for their Christmas. Yeah. So I don't plan on using them as picks. Same thing with these are the two Santa, I almost said snowman again, Santas. I absolutely love their gingham hat prints. And so these ones, I'm not sure though, because let me show you. So the backs of these ones, let me show you are like finished okay let's see so those are finished on the back right so they're cute all the way around these are not finished these are just like that so i feel like these have to be glued to something because the backs are just really cheap looking and i don't want i wouldn't use them these are definitely more high quality than these so i was thinking i could even glue this to the front of one of my little candy dishes like down in this area make this all red put a little like like right down here paint it black look like the belt buckle something like that would be really cute so i don't plan on leaving them up there but i do plan on gluing them to the back of something i was thinking so if i did that and then let me just show you so if i glue the santa head here right so i'll glue the santa head make this down here black with like a gold buckle or whatever and then up here like totally do like a gingham hat print like this one or something like that like how cute would that be that would be so cute except for the fact that he now have two hats but it would still be cute so that's what i got those for i think this is gonna have to be two separate hauls guys i'm already at 20 minutes and i'm telling you it doesn't even look like i made a dent in this bin but i'm gonna keep on trucking these again more picks i love these these are again finished on the back so these would be very cute to stick a just make a little hole right there even with like um an embroidery thread which is a thicker needle 
and just put it right there and hang it on, like I said, a bottle of wine. You can hang it on Christmas presents. You can hang it on your own tree, whatever you want. But yeah, that's what I plan because again, they are finished on the back. So those will be like either tags or something for Christmas or I don't know. I did pick up these two separate things. This one was 75 cents because one was missing, which I don't even know that I'll use all six of them. So I did not care. A quarter is a quarter, people. So anyways, this is six of the black gingham. And yeah, like they have glue hanging off and stuff, but I'll fix it. I suck at making bows. I know you can look it up online, but somehow I tie my finger in it and it turns out a mess. How I teach kids to tie their shoes is beyond me. But when I tie a bow, it is a hot mess worse than my DIY videos. So I got the red gingham, which is five, and those, the black gingham, which is um, six. They do have these on the back. I will take those off, cut them, and then I will glue them onto something because that is very cheap looking to me. But Phew, it's hot. So I did pick up three of these and they are the red LED, but they have the clear right here. I don't like the ones that are like with the thin, thin wire. Those break so easy. So I got these, some for my coffee bar and some for like possibly my candy dishes that maybe I don't want to make a candy dish. Maybe I just want to make like a glowing snowman. And so you just put this in there and you hang this out the back and like glue it so that it doesn't fall into your dish. And then you can just change the batteries and the lights keep working. So it is 10 lights, requires two 1.5 AA batteries, not included. It just says 10 lights, but it doesn't say how long it is, which is whatever. But yeah, so I just got that. I got three of those. And like I said, the clear ones, because I thought those were cuter. Whoop. Found my other off foot thing. Okay. So let's, we got bags. Like I said, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just trying to get through this. This is the Merry Christmas bag. I don't plan on using these as bags. I plan on putting these in frames. If you saw my Wednesday video, I got a frame from the Dollar Tree that was already whitewashed, beautiful. So I'll put one of these in there. So this one has the glitter, if you can see. Mm, not a big fan, but this side does not have the glitter. So, and even if I didn't want to use the whole thing, I could cut out like the Merry Christmas and put it on something. You can fussy cut the barn, fussy cut the sled, whatever, the little trees, anything. So I got those or just use it as a thing. But look at the sides, you guys. That side alone, cut this whole thing out. That is beautiful, beautiful. They're both the same, but that's gorgeous. So it's like four different projects or a lot of projects in one. So same thing I plan on doing with this one. It has the little snowman. If you see, it also has the glitter on that side. And then this side has no glitter. So this will go great in my section with all my little trucks with Christmas trees on them. And then it just does have the red and like lighter red on the sides. This one can be beautiful in. So if again, if you saw my haul on Wednesday, you will see that I bought those reception arrows that have like the, the easel on the back that stand up. So my plan, I think, is to cut this out and to Mod Podge it on there. So that, or maybe this one, I haven't decided. I have to see which one fits better, but I plan on Mod Podging it on there, painting it like a white, whitewashing it a little bit, and then putting this on there. So that is cute. And neither side has glitter. So that's amazing. There's those two sides. And then the inside is just this, but it's a beautiful background. It's like a red, like distressed wood thing. So that's a beautiful background to anything. Ooh, it's hot. I'm trying to go fast, people. So let me see here. Let's just keep going. I did pick up two of the red Merry Christmases because I planned on giving one of these to each of my boys because last year, my son that goes to college, I sent him a little Christmas tree and he put it up. It was so cute. And so I bought him, they didn't have these last year. So I bought this for his Christmas tree because I had sent him a Christmas skirt last year and it didn't have anything to go around. And I bought this for my older son who just got his own apartment. And when I showed it to him, he said, oh no, mom, I'm getting a real tree. I was like, oh, well, excuse me, because he is a diehard. I'm trying not to talk too much, but my oldest son, 100% a diehard. We have tried to get beautiful fake trees. He said, no, grandma has had a real tree. We have had a real tree. We have never in life had a fake tree, mom, not doing it. So I thought, okay, well, we'll get a real tree. 
which mind you, if you have those pines, whew, they are everywhere. But I thought, okay, well, we'll have a real tree and he can have this because his apartment's kind of small. No, that child said he's getting a real tree. So I'm hoping he's going to get a little real tree because if not, I don't know where he's going to walk. But anyways, I got two of those for my boys. And if they don't use them, I'll find something. And whoop, what do you know? I got another one of these. And this, again, is just the white Christmas tree you guys have seen everywhere by Christmas House. This is for my kitchen, for my Candyland theme. And I just want you to know that this is white. Not a cute white, right? So I plan on spraying it, like flicking bright pink paint on there, bright light green, bright whatever colors are in my kitchen. I plan on flicking them on there so that it looks more Candylandish. Ooh, yeah, I just, ooh, we're 25 minutes in. I picked this up, which is the little hinged elf decor because again, I have to have an elf area and I have, my husband doesn't understand this. I have a lot more to decorate, which also means guys, I have a lot more to clean. I was just telling my husband the other day, I said, man, when I said I wanted a bigger house, I don't think I took into account that I have to clean that bigger house. Like when I think of like doing the floors, everything in my house is tile. I have to like divide that up. Like it is an all day thing to clean the floors. And I was like, I don't think I thought about that. Like, just remember that we could go to a studio now. But anyways, I picked up this little elf because yes, I need an elf guy. So I plan on making this a 3D right here. And I plan on making his little belt and this 3D just so he's a little bit cuter and his little things on his legs. So I'll just make it 3D and then I'll use markers because I'm not good with paint. So anyways, I got that one. And then of course I was like, oh, I have to get the snowman one. So I got this snowman and again, I'll put his buttons and stuff 3D, excuse me. And then I will probably put, I brought it over here. I know you guys are like, Amy, you're already doing enough time. So let me just show you. I had gotten these and I think if, again, my Wednesday haul, if you saw these on my Wednesday haul, they were a different color. These ones are the ones I was looking for that I couldn't find. The other ones are red, I believe, and this one is the black and white gingham. I just want to see if this is going to work. Actually, it will. So, like, if you do him, if you make him, okay, well, it's probably going to pick up his whole body, but let's just see what it looks like. Because these are in the dog area, you guys. Are you kidding me? The dog area. This will probably take up his whole little body, but you could do whatever you want. But, okay, that's not going to work on him. But anyways, I just think they're cute. I plan on putting them on some of my candy dishes. So, anyways, this is the little snowman. And now that I took him out of the package for you, you can see he's so cute. So, I just plan on putting him just like that, probably. And then again, these were the dog scarves. Cannot find them anywhere. I only got two of these and two of the other ones. People have caught on and taken them all. So I'm on the hunt for more of these. Ooh. Okay, I'm hanging in there, guys. So again, I don't pick up stuffed animals from there because I don't have young children and my dogs like this kind of stuff. But... Yes, but he's an elf. So, you know, like that elf area is expanding, guys. It is expanding. I did not have room in my other house to really like set up different areas. Oh, we're going to have a whole elf thing. And I cannot wait to show you guys my golden girls area. It's in my bedroom. My husband made me take it out of the kitchen, but whatever. It's mine. I don't care. So let me just tell you about these ones first. I got these. Okay. I had six in my cart. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get this one. That's beautiful. And then another one was faced this way. I'll show you what they say in a minute. And I was like, oh, that's beautiful. I have to get that one. I had six in my cart. I hit a bump and I one, I guess, bounced over, which I didn't realize. And I'm like, why did I get two of that one? And then I said, oh, Amy, they're two-sided. Like, duh. So I could take three back out of my cart. I saved $3. But you guys, this is not hollow. This is a huge chunk of wood, like 18.125 by two inches a huge chunk of wood and again oh my dogs are like who's knocking and I mean let's be honest like let me take this off so you can see it this I mean two-sided like Dollar Tree for a dollar you're killing it so I do love this side tis the season to be jolly it has the little gnomes it's just beautiful but then there's this side that says ho 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 so you can bet these are not going to be against a wall I will find a way for them to be two-sided oh it almost fell so this one right here probably won't be. This is very beautiful, but it's just not my kind of decor. 
but it says Merry Christmas with the little poinsettias. And then this one will probably go over where all my little trucks with the trees are going. So this is Merry and Bright. I do like this one with the red truck. It's beautiful. And then you guys are tired of hearing it, but yes, this is going in my kitchen with my, <sighs> what is it doing? <gasps> I forgot. I wanted to get two of these. <sighs> I need to find a second one of these and they're probably all gone dang it because these ones I love this one right here I really wanted in my kitchen baking spirits brights for my Candyland theme and I wanted to put some little decorations or something up here and then this one I love and I wanted at my coffee bar and I just don't know if I'm gonna find anymore so this one says eat drink and be merry that's like it's amazing that Dollar Tree did that but then I'm just like Dollar Tree please why did you have to put the two cutest ones on the same thing so I am going to be on the hunt for another one of those I really hope I can find it but I have not seen any oh, oh gosh okay my dogs are like mom can we go in now so I did pick up these two towels. It says chilling with my Nomi. They are so cute. They will, one will probably go into a giveaway because again, not really the biggest gnome person. You would think I was with everything that's about to come out of this box, but, and the other one will probably go into my boys' bathroom because they don't dry and wash their hands anyways, I'm sure. So this will never get used. Yeah. I mean, I'm hoping they wash their hands. I don't know, but I can assure you they don't dry them. I don't think they do either. I don't know. Anyways, I got this special delivery from the North Pole Express. I thought it was cute. I have no idea. You can't even use it as a book because there's nothing on this side. Sometimes you just grab. I think it's pretty, but what the heck am I going to do with this? So anyways, cute. I am excited. I Last year after Christmas on clearance, I got a huge train set, like 90% off. I'm so excited to have it this year. I don't know. That's, that's just random. Anyways. So, of course, because, again, you're probably tired of hearing about it, but me and my son do our village every year, and so Dollar Tree has these. I don't care where I get them from. I don't care if I get them from Dollar Tree. I don't care if I get them from a yard sale, Goodwill. I don't care where I get them from. So, we just like to have more pieces for our village. So, this is an antique shop, and this is a little church. These ones are the ones that have LED tea lights in them, if it doesn't take too long or they don't have them, but you can put them in there. So right there, so they do light up. So that's even better for a dollar. I mean, and if you want, you can go through and like repaint or do whatever. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna put it up there with our little things. So this one also has a tea light and glows. The little windows have holes. The little balcony has a hole. So yeah. Oh gosh, Amy. So those are two more for my son and I. Okay. That's another red truck. You don't need to see that, especially with the timing we have. Okay. Oh, so I got this because this is beautiful and it says free music download and I could listen to Christmas music all year long. My absolute favorite Christmas song is the Christmas shoes. If you have never heard that, it's about a little poor boy who his mom is dying. It doesn't sound like it would be the Christmas spirit, but it is. And the guy behind him pays for the shoes and says it really gets him in the Christmas spirit. So it's my favorite. And I actually found the book for it last year at Goodwill. But my kids will tell you when you say, what's mom's favorite movie? Elf. What's mom's favorite song? The Christmas shoes. So anyways, this says kick back and color Christmas. I do not plan on coloring it. I do not have the patience to color this little stuff. But I do see that I can use some of this on different things something. I don't know. I thought it was cute. I'm going to not lie. I've mostly bought it for the free downloadable music, even though I have Pandora because I love Christmas music. Oh, and then the, the lady in there was like, where did you find that? First of all, let's look at how vintage this looks up on the housetop includes music CD. So, you know, I had to get it and out jumps good old Santa Claus. But how beautiful is that Santa Claus? So it says printable lyric. L lyrics included on the disc to print the lyrics PDF, insert the CD into the computer drive, click on start, and then my computer. And then you just can print it out. I did not see that. My family is going to be so happy. I'm printing this out so we can all sing. And so let's see if it tells us what songs. Up on the housetop, Jolly Old St. Nick, Christmas, Old Christmas Tree, 12 Days of Christmas, Deck the Halls, Hooray, It's Christmas Day, The Elves Are in the Workshop, Jingle Bells, Santa's Coming, Ho, 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 We Wish You a Merry Christmas. I am going to make my oldest son listen to this 12 Days of Christmas over and over. He was singing it the other day and I was like, that's not even one of the days. Like, it's not even that he got the number wrong. Like, he was giving away cars and clothes. I was like, that is not how that goes. Anyways, I loved these images. 
at first I was like, maybe I'll cut them out. But now I'm like, I don't think I can. Like I have to save this for when I have a grandchild because if any of my kids are watching this, I'm ready. I'm ready guys. So anyways, these are beautiful. The book is just beautiful. And so the lady was like, we have those. And so here's another one. Oh yes. Down through the chimney with a music CD. And this is down through the chimney, Christmas again, Santa's coming up on the housetop. So the other, the only one that's different is sing, sing, sing a song, five little carolers. I hope it's those on Christmas day. And here we come a caroling. And so anyways, I mean, look at these beautiful pictures, you guys, like you have to find them. And actually I wanted to tell you, whew, it's hot. These are by Greenbuyer. So you should be able to find them. Look at how beautiful those are. And yeah, beautiful. So I always, whoo, it's getting so hot. I'm getting itchy. I always, always cook my husband's work cookies. It doesn't, it's all the time. But I was like, oh, I saw these and I got them. Like, I don't just do it at Christmas or holidays. Like, I will just randomly think, oh, I want to bake a lot. And if I leave it home, I'll eat it. So I send them to my husband's work all the time. But I did pick these up. They are the cookie boxes, eight by five by 2.5 inches. I got four because my work got mad and said, oh, you send your husband stuff all the time? So I, that was the, the yeah, I got the de decoration. <sighs> okay, I think this is, I'm gonna do a couple more and then I'm really gonna have to split it up because I'm sure I've lost a lot of people by now, but I'm going to push stop and then I'm gonna restart. So I did pick this up when I was going through my Christmas stuff. I think I have this, but this is the Christmas tree one. But why did I get it? Not just for that, so you guys, for this. So this already has a background for you. How cute, like you can make it a little shadow box, put little Christmas trees down here, even though they're gonna be smaller than that, doesn't matter. Like whitewash the back, I think, so it doesn't look like that. Put some of these, put some snow down, put some little people down, put snowballs, I don't know. But this is a perfect shadow box. They already did it for you. How beautiful is that? Yeah, and this, I mean, you could use for anything. Yeah, so I bought that for a shadow box. All right, another elf, because <laughs> I think they're so cute. Okay, guys, so we're going to do a couple more, and then, like I said, we're going to have to stop. So, yes, what did I do? Gingerbread man for my Candyland theme. So, yep, yeah, that's why I got those, and they're big. I got several, but here's just two. Okay. Woo! Oh, I was like, why is this in the Christmas stuff? Let me tell you why. So here's a little Hot Wheels, right? How cute is that little truck? These are just a lot of ideas for you guys. <laughs> like you're like, Amy, are you really gonna have that many trucks with trees hanging out? I don't know. But like if you took, you would have to take the bottom off on this one. But look guys, I was looking everywhere for this truck. And then again, you wrap them in some twine. I just randomly have some right here. Like you put it right here at the top. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna have to do it out of the video. Okay, well, it wouldn't be that flat, but, oh, okay. But how cute, like, and it would be better than that. But then you have a little truck, like, how cute is that? Yeah, so that's why I got this truck, is to put Christmas tree on it. And then, again, how much will a little boy love to get this on, like, the top of his present or something? With the Christmas tree, you can take the Christmas tree off later, and then he has his little truck. Yes, and you could even, if you're really good, maybe write like their name right here or some not a little small area to be writing someone's name in, but some people are good. Or like right there on the top, you could write their name. Anyways, it was just my idea for the, for the Christmas trees. I was trying to come up with a lot of different ideas for you guys for how to decorate for cheap or for things that you already have on hand. So again, like some people might already have the planters on hand because they loved them, but they were just like, I don't know what I'll do with them. Christmas trees. Some people might've gotten the cars. Again, Christmas trees. I mean, you could do Christmas trees. You could do snow. You could do, like I said, you could put like Santa in the back like you do when you see the end of a Christmas parade. Santa is always standing in the back of like a fire truck at the end of a Christmas parade. Love it. Love it. Anyways, guys, we're at 40 minutes. I really wanted to get through all my Christmas stuff. I'm just not. I'm not. I'm sorry. Can you believe like I've been hauling this for over a month, but I was nice and decided I wouldn't show you guys until October and because I wanted you guys to be nice to me. So anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I am going to push stop and restart because I have 
more Christmas. So anyways, I hope that you guys got some ideas from some of these DIYs. Again, that is what I'm going to put in some of my videos. So many people, and I'm going to say this at the beginning of the next video. So many people do hauls on YouTube, a million, like I watch them and yeah, you get ideas, but then everyone's trying to like be the first person to do it and then you're not and then blah, blah, blah. But that's why I decided that I will try to give you guys DIY video, DIY ideas with why I bought stuff in every single one of my videos so that it's a little bit different. So like I said, like this one was the Christmas trees and different things like that, what you could do with the cloth thingy, whatever. But that's my plan is to try to tell you guys like why I bought it. Because if I just show it to you, you're going to be like, okay, I've seen that a million times. Why am I going to watch you? So that is what my plan is from now on. So anyways, if we're 40 minutes in, I'm winded and I hope that you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.